Hey Internet, for this video I'm going to be rooting the Nexus 6 running Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow build number MMB29K. Your bootloader needs to be unlocked before we can root, so if your bootloader is locked, check out my video on how to unlock it. The link is on screen and in the description. I did a separate video for unlocking the bootloader since most people who want to root Android 6.0.1 probably already have an unlocked bootloader from a previous root. This is a systemless root method and does not touch the system partition. Before you begin, back up your data, and as with all root methods, proceed at your own risk. Alright, let's begin. Go to Apps, Settings, About Phone, Make sure Android version is 6.0.1 with build number MMB29K. Tap build number until you see developer options enabled. Go back. Developer options. Enable USB debugging. Enable OEM unlocking. Go back. Plug in the USB data cable. And you might get a message saying, allow this computer for USB debugging. If you do get that message, press allow. Download the Android SDK tools only zip file. The download link is in the description. Make sure to have this file and other files downloaded in the same folder. Download the Google USB driver, save it in the same location as the SDK tools. Most of the time Windows automatically installs the correct USB drivers. Only install these drivers if Windows Update cannot locate the Google USB drivers online. Open the download folder, extract the zip files, double click Android SDK folder, Android SDK Windows folder, run sdkmanager.exe, in Android SDK Manager check mark Android SDK Platform Tools and SDK Build Tools. Click Install Packages, Accept the License, Click Install, once install is complete, close the package installer. Now let's download the files needed for root. Download TWRP Open Recovery 2.8.5.0. The link is in the description. Save it in the same folder as the files downloaded earlier. Download Super SU V2.60. The link is in the description. Save this file in the same folder as the others. Open the folder you downloaded the files to. Go to the computer directory. Click Start. Click Computer. With the Nexus 6 still plugged in, go to the internal memory, download folder, copy Super SU to the download folder.
shut down the phone. While the phone is off, enter fastboot mode by holding power, volume up, and volume down buttons. If it's not plugged in already, plug in the USB data cable. Copy the open recovery TWRP file. Go to the Android SDK folder. Platform Tools. Paste the open recovery TWRP file in the folder and copy its file name to the clipboard. Hold shift and right click, then click open command window. Type in command window, fast boot, flash recovery, open recovery. Then right click and paste the file name we copied earlier. This will replace the stock Nexus 6 recovery with TWRP's recovery. TWRP recovery enables us to flash Super SU to the phone rooting the device. Hit enter. Okay, now that the stock recovery has been replaced, navigate fast boot with the up and down volume buttons. Highlight recovery mode and press power to select. This will load TWRP's open recovery. Before we begin flashing Super SU, let's make a backup. Swipe to back up. Once backup is complete, go back to the first screen. Press install. Download. Beta Super SU. Swipe to confirm flash. Press reboot system. Now this is the single most important part of the entire video. When prompted for Super SU to root your device, press do not install. I repeat, do not install. If you swipe, you will end up soft breaking your phone. This is the step most people in the forums break their phones in. So please press do not install when you see the screen. Let the phone boot. Verify root by checking to see if Super SU is installed. We can see we are rooted in systemless root mode. Okay, let's verify the root again with root checker. Download root checker.
press verify root. As we can see, we have proper root access to the Nexus 6. And that's it. Congrats on your rooted Nexus 6.